is just an incredible evening here as we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Purple Heart, uh, Purple Heart Park and the, and the recognition of all Purple Heart recipients. And at the center of our downtown, recognizing the veterans. And if you can't recognize veterans you know, as a country or as a community, then I think you're missing something. So I think Dunedin's got it right. They did a great job here. So it's really special. And so in, 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 recent, in recent weeks, um, well, the, the county has actually taken up the banner and become a Purple Heart County, and uh, it's something that just fit. Uh, and so uh, I was so excited to, to see the, the staff embrace it, and then they contacted the Purple Heart group, and it just, it just fit. It just makes sense, and it just works so well. So many cities around this county really put the veterans at the, at the center of their community. So proudly we have I'm proud to wear my Purple Heart. I'm proud to be a member of the Military Order of the Purple Heart. I joined when I was in the hospital. Each Purple Heart shall always be a part of freedom's history. Hold deep inside a fervent pride for all who gave, the brave who died. They showed their best for liberty. They stood for us with certainty. Their wound of war, their Purple Heart, each day or two care and do their part. Some bore a wound which took their life, while others lived past war's home knife. True patriots, they face their call to keep our nation strong for all. Deep scars of war are carried by those who return and those who cry. Pray for the brave, their loved ones too. Thank God for heroes, all of you.